Hello, I am Professor N. B. Hule from G. H. Rai Soni Institute of Engineering and Technology, Pune. Giving the presentation on use of Smith chart for different applications. Here is the list. These are some applications of this Smith chart, including single stub matching and double stub matching. But before going to the actual solving of uh, uh, or finding the solutions of uh, these problems, we need to understand the structure of this Smith chart. I will go through the some slides as well as uh, the Smith chart which is available with me and then we will go for the actual solutions of uh, some of the problems related to the Smith chart that is calculation of standing wave ratio, reflection coefficient, voltage maxima, minima, input impedance, load impedance, then location of the single stub, value of the single stub, values of the double stubs and so on. Here this is the Smith circle diagram. It has many things just like this is the resistance component axis or conductance component axis where we can plot the real values of the impedance or admittance. This is real. Here is the imaginary axis where on upper portion we can plot inductive reactance and capacitive suspectance and on downside we can plot or we, are, we have to plot the capacitive reactance and inductive susceptance. Here we have these two ends. One end is known as a short circuit end which is this and other is the open circuit end. It indicates the open circuit impedance and this indicates short circuit impedance. Reverse is the case for admittance. Similarly, here we have the two concepts in the Smith chart that is moving towards generator that is in the clockwise direction and moving towards the load that is in the anticlockwise direction. That's how if we have this is the transmission line this is sending it Vs and here is the receiving end we have the Vr. If the given thing is the load, then for the calculation of the input parameters, we have to move towards the load. Means on the swing chart, we are moving in clockwise direction, that is towards generator. If the given parameter is the input value, input impedance, and in that case, if for the calculation, if we are going towards the load, going towards the load means on the Smith chart, we have to move in the anticlockwise direction. The distance is available in terms of the wavelength as far as the Smith chart is concerned. Scales are in wavelength and angles are available in degrees. I will show in detail. This is the R circle or R is equal to one circle. It has a lot of importance in the single stub matching as well as in the double stub matching. This is the center of the Smith chart and known as the match the load. First example of the plotting of the impedances and the admittances. Before this, I will give overview of the Smith chart which is available with me. This is Smith circle diagram. It has many things. I will show in detail. 
if you are able to see our inductive reactance component and capacitive reactance component means this imaginary axis this imaginary axis here is the imaginary axis and so on that is plus j.6 plus j.7 and so on similarly if i am going further up the wavelengths towards generator means here this is means clockwise direction the wavelength towards generator if i am going down again here we have another thing that is wavelength towards the load that is in anti clockwise direction at the same time here look at this part this part that is point 2 this is point 3 and so on these are the capacitive reactance component as well as the inductive susceptance component means here if i want to plot some values i will show in detail but before that i will i want to show some other things also here if we are coming other side we have another four scales are available here this is wavelength towards generator this is wavelength towards load then here this belongs to the angle of refraction coefficient in degrees and the other scale belongs to the angle of transmission coefficient in degrees four things are available at the border or outside boundary of this mic chart that is a distance in terms of the wavelength towards generator and towards load angle in terms of degrees that is refraction coefficient and this uh, transmission coefficient if we are coming at the bottom of this mic chart we have so many things but here i will use only this parameter that is refraction coefficient for that is e and i now this is brief about uh, uh, the smith chart i will come as and when required again to this uh, particular smith chart now i will start with the first uh, what we can call uh, example the plotting of the following impedances on the smith chart uh, and we are assuming here the characteristic impedance of the 600 ohm here first we need to normalize the given impedance before plotting on the smith chart what is normalization normalization is load impedance divided by its characteristic impedance here for first case the first impedance is real part is 1200 plus j600 ohms if we are dividing it by the 600 characteristic impedance it will become 2 plus j1 and so on for other how to plot 2 plus j1 1 plus j1 1 minus j2 1 plus j0 and so on we want to plot this i will start with the first that is 2 plus j1 ohm which is the impedance we have to search for the first this value r is equal to two circle this is real axis this is point 1 this is point 2 point 3 point 4 here is 1 this is 1.2 1.4 and this is 2 this circle belongs to 2 means we are searching for real circle r is equal to 2 we have plus this plus sign indicates it should be plotted on upper half portion of the smith chart and if it is minus then we have to plot on the lower half portion of the smith chart this is first then we are searching for this plus j1 which is imaginary these are the imaginary axis here this is for point 3 this is point 4 point 5 and that is point 6 point 7 and so on this is 1 and it is a plus that's why on the upper side otherwise it will be at the lower side of this smith chart and the intersection of the both that value of the impedance just here this is circle and here this intersection point is that 2 plus j1 and similar is the case for all other impedances for plotting of the second impedance which is 1 plus j1 we have to search for real circle r is equal to 1 and imaginary circle j is equal to 1 which is on the upper portion of the smith chart due to this plus sign just like this this is r is equal to 1 circle here we have another point which is the intersection of this two 
that is here already we have uh, taken j1 that's why its intersection will be uh, that particular point which is uh, 1 plus j1 and this is for 1 minus j2 we have one circle already plotted which is this imaginary part is equal to 2 and this is minus that's why we are uh, looking at the lower half portion of the smith chart and its intersection will be that particular point which is uh, 1 minus j2 and uh, finally 1 plus j0 is it must be at the center of the smith chart which is nothing but the match load here these are the plotting of the impedances similarly another simple assignment related to this is the conversion of the impedance to the admittances the procedure is the same first we need to plot the impedances and then we can convert these impedances to the admittances what i have done already i have taken the impedances which i have already plotted in the previous slide we will convert these impedances into the admittances the first i will start with 2 plus j1 we need to take this value we are using the compass and uh, in the compass we will take this much value and we will take this chop on something like this and we will exchange here this line something like this this opposite point we are searching for opposite point the important thing is that we have to look at this this line must pass through the center of the smith chart and just read out the coordinates of the extreme point which is available here and these coordinates will give us the admittance i will read out it will be 0.4 minus j.2 this is again its diagonally opposite value will be its admittance similarly for third impedance and finally here for the fourth impedance this is the conversion of the impedance to the admittance thank you